Hello, this is uh, Theo uh, on my first video for the new YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, it'd be a lot for me, thank you very much. Today I'm talking about my saxophone collection uh, and my journeys with them. Um, so this is my Selma Mark VI tenor saxophone. It actually was made in 1965, I believe. I've had this forever, basically. All my recordings, all my studio recordings, so solos like Porter Country, Don't Hate Me, uh, all the Soft Machine albums, Hidden Details, So There with Robert Fripp, recordings with David Silvian um, on the Nine Horses, like uh, History of Holes, Banality of Evil, all that. So it's a wonderful instrument, been with me the whole time. I use uh, an Otto Link Tone Edge Metal mouthpiece. Um, this is my main beast. I have another tenor saxophone, a second one, it's a Signature Custom, Signature Custom Raw, I've only had it actually two or three years and it's a beautiful instrument, got it from new. I have actually been on tour with this quite a lot in the last couple of years. So the Hidden Details World Tour, I uh, took this to Japan and America and around Europe and actually uh, this is featured on the brand new Soft Machine Live at the Baked Potato recording uh, made in Los Angeles just a year ago. A beautiful instrument. Uh, really uh, good action, nice to play, warm sound, great companion horn to my uh, Mark VI. Then here I have my soprano saxophone. Just got the one, um, use this on absolutely everything. Um, it's a Keilworth, uh, German made uh, soprano. It's an SX90 Mark II. I've toured with this a lot. So all the Travis and Fripp touring and recording in 2009-10, it's all on this one. Uh, it's got quite a kind of mellow sound. A um, bit kind of core on blayish, so not too shrill. Um, good tuning, and uh, I used the mouthpiece that came with it in the box all those years ago. And my alto saxophone is a signature custom, beautiful instrument. As you can see, it's in kind of pink bronze. Again, very good action, good feel, very well made uh, by those nice folks at uh, Whirlwind Music and Signature Custom. I just use an Otto Link Tone Edge Hard Rubber, an Ebonite mouthpiece. Again, the standard Pandora uh, read. So, lovely instrument. I use this, to be honest, mainly for practicing and uh, teaching many students and I always use this uh, instrument for that. So it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful horn. <laughs> Thank you. 
started when I was 15 on alto. I actually borrowed my sister's alto, joined the Midland Youth Jazz Orchestra, uh, subsequently went on to the National Youth Jazz Orchestra and studied classical music at university and started playing in bands from the beginning really. But I've always uh, particularly loved the sound of the saxophone in jazz and, and rock music as well. So thank you. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a few videos talking about my different instruments. Certainly one about all the flutes and probably all the other instruments as well. So I hope it's been of interest. Uh, thank you. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.